My name is Jesse Potter and I'm the Digital Communications Specialist here at Memic. I work in the Communications Department where we do a lot of things with uh, our intranet and our dot com, uh, Memic.com. Um, we oversee both of those for the most part. Um, we all, I also do a lot of video editing, uh, I edit our podcast. Uh, do lots of just kind of uh, nitty-gritty kind of tech stuff. Well, normally a uh, normal day is, uh, well, it depends on the week and kind of um, uh, there are some kind of routine tasks that usually have to be done, but uh, normally uh, start in the morning, um, working on whatever kind of projects need to be done. Uh, I usually have a team check-in in the morning, um, but then, yeah, then it's usually right back into working on projects or maybe some other meetings, uh, usually a good handful of meetings throughout the week. Uh, just to meet and work, uh, get together on uh, collaborative projects with uh, some other departments. The most, the most interesting parts of my job would probably be just all the different things that, that I get to work on. Um, do anything from being tasked with, uh, there was once not, or in the, in the past, we had to recover some uh, video files from a security camera. It was like a 360 degree security camera and it never really worked with anything like that before. Uh, but it was cool to uh, be tasked with, you know, here's this video file that we need to use or we need to get it to, you know, somebody that's uh, involved with the claim or something like that. So I had to go through and uh, use this kind of software I'd never used before looking at this 3D video, uh, not 3D video, um, 360 video from like uh, on the ceiling. So that was neat. Uh, just a lot of the different uh, technical things that I get to do. Um, just a lot of kind of... A lot of media projects, a lot of cool media projects, a lot of editing things. Um, I've worked previously in a lot of uh, design agencies, uh, web design and graphic design and stuff, um, some web development, uh, things like that. Uh, so I kind of, it's always just kind of been the, the way I went, you know, ever since I was a kid and got really into computers. And so it's just been, so it, it was the only thing I was ever really interested in when I was younger. It was kind of like the first real thing, you know, that you really get into. Uh, so it was... Uh, for me, I really couldn't have pictured any other kind of career that was outside of a, the realm of doing something uh, on a computer, tech related, or maybe creative, uh, creative wise. Uh, computers are definitely everywhere and um, knowing how to kind of do more than just use them a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe if you like fixing them or if you like breaking them and then fixing them or, uh, or maybe you want to get into programming um, and that's, and if you've got the mind for it, you know, if you've got the mind where you you would like to know how things fit or you like doing puzzles because that's kind of what programming really is, is you're kind of um, solving a puzzle kind of on your own. Um, and, uh, and then when things kind of fit into place, it's really fun. Um, or if you're the creative type, you know, start using, you know, get into maybe digital media, digital art stuff, um, probably are already since, like I said, uh, it's much more prevalent now than it was. Um, you know, but if you have a skill, you know, if you have an actual talent, then, uh, you know, figure out, uh, uh, how you can turn it into something that you can live off because that's uh, that's that's ideal You know if you're the type where you're if you're a maker if you like making things, um, you know, maybe join a maker space uh, Where you have access to and of course be safe be safe while you're there um, But you know, maybe join a maker space where you'd have access to a lot of things uh, a lot of tools um, and Utilities that you might not have otherwise maybe like a, a 3d printer uh, or something like that uh, you know, looking back, I, uh, I I didn't always do so well in school. Um, I really was, for a lot of it, kind of focused on being the class clown and wanted to make my friends laugh and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, eventually I definitely did connect with uh, some teachers that, um, you know, kind of were more in line with my personality and more kind of in line with just kind of the way I think uh, and talked to me in a, in a way that really it, it changed a lot of things for me. And um, so, you know, looking back, it's, you know, it, the, the kind of student I was versus, you know, the person that I kind of grew up to be, it was, it's a really pretty, it's a, and a, a funny contrast.